Hello everyone, my name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. In this series of tutorials, we will be looking at plotting uh, using Matplotlib library. Now, Matplotlib library, as many of you might know, is actually a plotting library of a module available in Python. If you are one of those people who are using Python for data analysis, uh, visualization, or somebody in the computational field or scientific domain, wherein you want, or some kind of a in any domain wherein you need to use Python for data visualization and plotting plotting information, making charts, graphs, contours, you know, contours, and any kind of informatics in that manner. Matplotlib is actually a very very good tool for that, and this will be like your best friend in that regard. This is actually a very powerful library per module under module having so many functions and facilities under the hood. They're just very immense. It's very immensely useful for people to visualize data with it. Now, this actually is one of the most powerful libraries available in Python, especially for the scientific. If especially if you're using the same, I mean, uh, Python for scientific computation. Now, to get first, we're going to start with the installation of Matplotlib. So, if you want to know more in detail about what Matplotlib is and what are the things that you can do with it. Go to this website matplotlib.org and they'll be keep on updating it, updating it, and all the information and examples and examples are given over here. Uh, if you want, and uh, as of now, to the latest version is 2.00. That's the latest stable version, and there is an unstable uh, version available in the Git repositories. So, but uh, for m m most of users, the latest version is more than latest stable version is, met, is, su is sufficient to work with. To install matplotlib, you just have to follow the mat matplotlib instructions over here, which I click that, it'll open up a page like this. The installation is extremely, extremely simple. If you are, if you are um, a Linux or a Linux or a Unix user, Linux or Unix user. For Linux users, if you are especially using some kind of a Linux that is Debian based, for example, Ubuntu, you have to type this, you have to type this command, sudo apt get install, apt get install matplotlib. So, you just have to open up a terminal, open up a terminal like this, and then type sudo apt get install python and matplotlib. You have to type that. On the other hand, if you're like a Fedora or a Red, some version of a, some a Fedora user or some kind of uh, operating system that uses Red Hat or derivative of Red Hat, you have to use the keyword. You have to use the command sudo yum install python matplotlib to get it installed. On the other hand, if you're like, if you're like a Arch Linux user, you just have to type pacman, uh, pacman, um, uh, my, I guess minus s, minus s, and then you type the program to install automatic, to install automatically. Now for me, I've already installed all of this, so it's easy to easily taken care of. On the other hand, if you're like a person like me who's using Anaconda Python or Miniconda Python to install it, it's for e it's even more simpler. All you have to do is, with the internet is on, you just take conda uh, install matplotlib, and that is it. You just have to press enter, and then it'll just go inside, go to the internet, and check if there is any newer version. And come on, there we go. If there is any, if, if I mean, my for me, I already have the latest version installed. If it if it's not, it'll just go and download the required software and install it for you. On the other hand, if you're like a Windows user, if you're following Anaconda, if you're using Anaconda or Miniconda, the procedure is fairly straightforward. On the other hand, if you're like a standard, if you use some kind of a standard Python, like uh, like with the, which has a pip installer, you have to type this command to install this in Python. Install uh, matplotlib in Windows. You have to get the setup tools installed first. And then you have to install matplotlib. On the other hand, if you're trying to install and you get to get some errors using pip installer, pip installer because certain libraries are missing, then you have to install these libraries beforehand. Like you need to install uh, numpy, setup tools, date util, pi passing, libpng, pi pi tz, free type, cycler, and six. Only if you ins only if you completely install all of this, matplotlib installation would be successful. And once you do that, it's fairly easy. But don't worry, installation is not that difficult as you might think it is. So it's very easy. Not um, if you have any trouble, just let put a message on put a message on the page. Um, put leave a comment. I'll help you out with that. And now next thing, what I'm doing is I'm I'm going to use what an editor called as Jet uh, editor called as PyCharm. This PyCharm editor uh, from the Jet company JetBrains is actually pretty cool and it's very very useful 
for develop for writing programs and it's actually an IDE an interactive development environment and this is pretty good so so I'm going to use this so come to we'll come to this website by uh, JetBrains come to this website called as JetBrains and then when you, this is how the website will look like whenever you visit it and then over here you just go for the IDEs and then in the option check for the option called a spy charm and it will put a point out to you like this and go to a point to your web page like this and click the downloads option and then there are two versions over here like um, a professional version and a community version split for different operating systems like Windows Mac OS Mac OS and Linux so if you want uh, if you want a professional edition you have to pay you have to pay or you can use a free trial available on the other hand I'll be using the community version because this is free and most of the features that are available in community are more than enough for any standard user unless otherwise you're a professional developer who wants more features you, uh, you go with the download and this is actually a multi-purpose uh, editor uh, multi I mean you can use this PyCharm for multiple purposes I mean I download that pick a arc operating system and install it and uh, if you have installed any software before in Windows, Mac or Linux uh, the installation is fairly straightforward so go aboard with it and uh, it's not necessary to have Py uh, PyCharm installed you can use with any editor you want I'm just going to use it because it's much more convenient and uh, Installation is fairly straightforward. Just go ahead with it, and then what you do is that uh, first, what you need to do is create a new project. Create a project. You just type a pro you just type a project name, and then in the uh, and then over here you say specify a particular Python. Like in I'm since uh, since uh, I'm using Linux uh, Linux distribution, there are like multiple Python versions available. Like this one is this one is actually the Python 3.6 available in my system, and this is again the Python 2.7 that is available in the system Python by da by default. In instead of instead of these two, I'm going to use my Anaconda Python over here. I click this up and then give a name, and then give a name and click create. Once I create that, once I create that, I I, I mean I, you will get a project like this. And uh, I've named my project as plotting tutorials, and I and I created an off and uh, I created a file like tutorial dot one tutorial one dot py to create a new uh, Python file. What you do is right click on the project name over here and click uh, for new, and then click Python file, and then you put a name. Okay, and the, this will have a like this will look like this. I mean, I'm just using a different color scheme, but you can go and change the color scheme for uh, PyCharm to make it convenient. I'm using it because it's a little more visible. And then let's get started. First, we need first to start with any uh, product. We just need some data, so let's create some sample data. So let's say uh, let's plot the sine curve to to start with. So to uh, first we need angles for that. So let me use the linspace function. By the way, linspace is actually a linear li uh, function that is available in NumPy that creates equidistant points between two limits. Two limits. Um, so if uh, so, let's uh, if if I took linspace. Uh, 0 comma 2.0 star np dot pi I use that it's going to create um, let's create 101 points so this is going to create 101 equally spaced points between 0 and 2 pi and then let's draw we get a sine curve so if I type np dot sine of x okay this is going to create my sine curve and to plot this it's very simple I just have to type plt dot plot and then type x comma y I'm going to plot the variable x along the x-axis and uh, the value y along the y-axis so we get this plot and uh, to run this it's fairly simple if I just run this yeah, this will work fine but no plot did not show up that's because you have to you have to explicitly call this plot function show option over here so if you type plot show this uh, plot will show up automatically so if I run this option button over here and there you have it you have you have made a simple plot so this is how a sine function will look like fine and now there I know this is actually just a beginners tutorial right now with this one In the next subsequent videos we'll talk about uh, how to make this plot much more fancier and improve it much better alright so that's all I have for you all in this tutorial thank you for watching and in the next tutorial onwards we'll do something interesting and we'll go and go on develop this plot okay till then take care